Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So, just because I'm not, I, you do, you, I'm not saying what you are saying, and you you want to accuse me of being of being inconsistent. Come on, get the truth for what it is. I I would also love, you know, to say so many bad things about this government. I mean, for goodness' sake. I am calling for early elections. I mean, if there is anything that I can find which is bad to make people upset to call for early elections, I would do that. I, I'm telling you, I would want, I would want to. At the moment, for me, this government is not doing it for me. They are so wrong in so many ways. They have literally failed. The suffering that. He, Personally, I'm going through, and many other people. It's too much. And I'm saying this government should go. Let us call for any election. That's what I was saying yesterday. Let us call for any elections. That is my agenda. I want to have an any election. I would rather have President Edgar Chagalungu back into power. He's not the best, but I would rather have him than Bahaka in the Ichinema. Based on governance. That is my agenda. That is what I'm talking about. Now, this issue of this God has come up. So because I've got this agenda, then I should not, whatever I know, whatever I've found out, whatever I've been told, with evidence, I should ignore it. And I should continue saying, yes, yes, this is God, it is God. Come on, guys, come on. I can't do that. My conscience cannot allow me. My conscience cannot allow me. That is not the way I operate. That is not the way I operate. I want this government to go like yesterday. But I want them to go not on lies. I will not be part of those people that will fabricate things to implicate Haka in the Ichirema. No, Kumutanika for lies. No, Haka in the Ichirema. If I'm going to call him names, if I'm going to accuse him something, it will be something that I'm convinced about, not something that I'm not convinced about. And I want to tell you on this God issue. This God issue has got nothing to do with Haka in the Ichirema. Yes, the person that is uh, uh, the plane that was used, the person that uh, owns that plane has got relationship with Haka in the Ichirema. But it is nothing to do, it is not that Haka in the Ichirema was involved. No. Mwalampata, nobody for Mumpate, I don't care. I don't care. But you are lying. You are lying, you are lying, you are lying, you are lying. Haka in the Ichirema is not involved. And I will tell you that the, what, the person that brought those Egyptians, those Egyptians, is a South African. Is a South African. He knew about this God because he has got some God activities. He has got a mind and whatever, whatever. He does business here. And that's how he knew about this so-called God. And he went on an expedition to look for clients to come and buy this God, which has been in the country for a long time. And he managed to get those clients. They came in and through this friend who is also connected to, you know, who is, who is known by, he just known. And I shouldn't even mention him because, yes, I shouldn't even mention Haka in the But because, look, they know each other. But Haka in the knows this person. He runs an, an airline, airline company. He, there is an airline company. I don't want to mention his name. I don't want to mention his name. But I'm sure uh, some of you will know him. So, and 
if those Egyptians came, it was supposed to be a transaction that was supposed to be done at the airport. Pa, those people, they give them God, they, then the, the, the other guys, they give them money. And the, this plane goes and the other one remains. That is how it was supposed to be done. Unfortunately, unfortunately, some people somewhere along the way, they, they, were, they were not, uh, they didn't get their share. And that is how they became whistleblowers and blew everything. Now, here is the situation which you have to understand. Now, about the issue of, of Kabuswe, I can't confirm, that one I can't confirm whether indeed the God is God or it is fake. But yes, the possibility is very high that it is fake. Now let me explain, and in the form of because I've followed this story, I've spoken not to people, but people that are involved in this business. The issue is that there is a, there is a lot of gold that comes from Congo into Zambia. Uh, but the gold in Congo cannot be sold like in Dubai. They need documentations. To go and sell gold in Dubai, where most of our gold ends up, most of the gold ends up in Dubai. Most of the gold, it ends up in Dubai. Part of it, part of it, there is also, uh, what is this? North Korea. North Korea also buys gold. North Korea also buys gold. But remember, North Korea has got sanctions. So, usually when they are buying gold, they buy it illegally. They use underhand methods to buy their gold to take to North Korea. But the gold that goes to Dubai, most of the times, they need documentation. But the gold that comes out of Congo, the gold that comes out of Congo, they cannot do documentations because they are under sanctions. So what they do, the Congolese, they bring the gold from Congo, they bring it into Zambia. They bring it into Zambia and work out the documentation so that it comes out like it is Zambian gold and then it is exported normally. So the gold from Congo is brought into Zambia and papers are done, then they, then they, they, they export the gold. Is this process starting today? No. The person that I was talking to has actually assured me to say almost every week there is a there is a, a there is a private jet that carries gold into Dubai. He told me that that almost it's not like it, uh, it's um, it's happening just now. Right, who that like trying to add? I didn't like it. You know, you hurt my mouth. Okay. I'll see Commander, baby. I'll, I'll see Commander. You can close it. It's hurting. Yeah, okay. I'll come and see. So, they they bring the Congo, they bring the, the, the gold from Congo, bring it into Zambia, smuggle it into Zambia, smuggle it into Zambia, then process the papers and export it. And what... I'm, I'm told is actually that there are these agents, there are people that are in Zambia who go and pick the Congo, who go and pick the, the gold from Congo and bring it into Zambia. Of course, there is also gold that comes out of Zambia. But this guy told me that Zambia at the moment doesn't have the capacity to process bulk gold. Uh, he, this year said at the moment the gold that we buy is not so much from Zambia it's from Congo because Zambia at the moment doesn't have the capacity to process that gold so mostly the gold that we buy which goes out of the international uh, KK International Airport comes from Congo that's where it comes from is this thing starting today this thing has been happening for a long time who are involved is it the politician it's not the politician it's not the politician as the pf it is not the politician as the upnd it is basically uh, the, the 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 law enforcers that that is the police uh zdrm and some lawyers are actually mentioned some lawyers are actually mentioned they are the ones that process the documentation. They process the documentation and the gold goes out. And it goes out as gold from Zambia and yet it is from Congo. So this has been happening. Now, 
what about this god so this god apparently they say that it came from congo and it has been in the country they said for about two months ago and they were looking for a buyer and they started contacting different people and so this guy in south africa this guy in south africa managed to find managed to find a buyer this buyer was going to buy it and then later on they were supposed to take it to north korea now north korea like i've told you north korea they don't need documentations as long as these the god lands into their country that's it so they don't need documentations for them now when this guy found this guy this guy is a, a, an egyptian who was saying okay you can come and buy and then later on they can export it they can take it uh into into uh north korea so when they were buying then they thought look if we if we are taking it to north korea we don't need papers we don't need papers so why should we use these zambian guys to process papers for us you see so they cut those guys who, who, who do papers they cut them and that is how they just said we will just deal with the guys that are selling gold we will they bring the gold we will give them the money we put them in our plane and off we go we don't need the papers but remember this god came two months ago so everybody in their business knew about this god everybody in that whatever circles they knew about this god so when these guys were moving thinking that we don't need papers we can cut these agents we can take the, the god unfortunately those guys they laid they they blew the, the alarms and hence what happened at the international airport it is not that it doesn't happen this guy told me almost every week god goes out and he also said that some of it uh, some planes even fly from different areas apart from the international airport apart from the international airport so even other areas are used other air airships are used to fly god out of zambia so it is a fact that yes our uh, congo gold and our gold as well has been flying out of zambia using these illegal means and most of the people that are involved it is basically just the people that are in zara the people that equip ministry of mines and so on and so forth so that is how that god we came to know about it is because they wanted to cut part of those guys who process papers so they were like come on we we're supposed to make money out of this and you want to just go like that forget it to a live polish deal that's how they blew the deal now this new development we are where the minister has said uh it is not good i found my guy just now i found my guy just now before before even 20 hours i even just cut my line to say i need to go live i found my guy i said now have you heard what the minister is saying the guy said it is possible because sometimes uh, people are scammed whereby because it is an exchange even by airport so they sometimes they, they may have one you know one box which is like real god or you know and they quickly just give them to to test uh, the one which is real god but the other one may not be god so it is very possible he even told me that uh, there is a guy that was come i think about 28 million or so there is a guy who was scammed about 28 million here in zambia he was scammed uh, i don't know if it is an indian but he mentioned he told me that it is that is very high uh, whereby sometimes you are cheated so it is possible that these guys because these guys um, who just came i mean they had not gone through all the the god they were just in the in the, they had not even opened to start checking the god they were receiving the money so that after receiving the money they can check this god unfortunately that is when everything went sour so he's saying that there is a possibility that this god might have been fake 
He said it is very possible. But it is also possible that it was genuine God. But that we can't tell because those Egyptians didn't test all the God. And even this guy, the South African guy, didn't test the God. So he's saying we can't tell on that. But it is very common that these guys come with fake God and they scam you. So it is possible that this could have been a scam. And basically, that is just the story as I've gotten it. I've gotten this story, and this guy that I, I was talking to, he is the one that managed to bring those those Egyptians so that they buy gold and then later on they said they take it they take it to North Korea. Unfortunately, the deal went sour. I was talking to him, he had just landed in South Africa. There are some Congolese also who are involved, who have also run away. Some Congolese who have also run away. But there are Zambians who facilitate all this. He even mentioned some of the people that deal in this kind of things. But I'm not going to mention names um, just to give you this, this detail. This is what I've been told. If you have a better truth, you can also tell it. Don't start calling me names. Now I could shamu, now I could shamu. Tawandi shishemu na 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 there is a guy that sent me 500 kwacha. Kina miranga no kumiranga. There is a guy who sent me 500 kwacha. I will drive 400 kwacha. Na isana ma bando zia 300 kwacha. Uh, I mean, I, I, I find it, I, I, but there is, there is nothing more I can tell you. This is just what it is. And this guy, I was talking to him because they wanted to get a lawyer. In the morning, this guy talked to me because they wanted to get a lawyer. They wanted me to help them find a lawyer who can help who can help them. And that is how I started talking to, to him. But, uh, I, I mean, I haven't managed to help them to find a lawyer. I don't know what they have done. In the, this evening, I was talking to him. He said, I've just landed, um, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll call you later. Or maybe I will call you to come to South Africa. But he has told me, I'll call you later. I'll give you the development uh, of, um, of everything. Uh, but let me first settle down. So that is the whole story. This is the person who was there, is part of it. He's the one that brought the Egyptians in terms of politicians and whatever, whatever, the only person that is can be linked to politics is the owner of the plane. But that plane was also just hired because this guy in South Africa knows this guy who is the owner of the plane. In terms of other whatever, 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 he said, no, there is nothing like that. So this is the story. About Kabuswe, he said it is very possible because we didn't know. Now, this is the story now. Hey, now Whether you take it, if you have another story, run your story. In, uh, this is the story that I've given you. And I've given it to you in truth, not whatever, whatever, whatever. I have just given to you as it is. The problem wafi mufafi. Eh, na diamu. Eh, na diamu. Gana randi la kwa PF. Eh, na udiamu. Gana randi la kwa UPND. Eh, na udiamu. Web shemi wa aka inde. Vampere shinga. Na ndilo ndandi la kwa PF. Vampere shinga. I just give you things as they are. Let us hold this government accountable for the wrong things that they are doing. Not if you have a uh -uh. It is not just right. Even about the money, for example, yes. Because some people are saying, no, the money was whatever, whatever, whatever. This guy has confirmed. This guy has confirmed. Of course, he's not the one that had the money, but this guy has confirmed that actually what they were buying, the gold that they were supposed to buy, it is about um, 5 million. That's what he said. He said it's about 5 million. That's what they were supposed to, to cash. So even the money issue, people, because people are saying, no, it's more, it's more. Uh -uh, the guy has confirmed. He said... The God that we were supposed to buy was about five million. So those guys would not have much more than 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 what it is. A story and if you are a tumorunda pomwebene, I'm not even going to continue This is a story that I have. It is not that I'm intelligent. Eh? It is not that I'm intelligent, it's not that I know everything. I'm just lucky that this guy called me in the morning. Tayari, can you help us find a lawyer quickly who can help us with this? I said, well, I can look around, but what is it? 
Then he started explaining and he explained to me about all this. Of course, Nachia Kukoti, Nafuma Kukoti, and we, we spoke at lunch hour a little bit later on, uh, Kuma 14 hours. We spoke after Kusalanda, we spoke normally just before 20 hours. That's when I was asking him to say, but Kabu, so he's saying this, he's saying it's highly possible because we don't know, We this is very common. Nalanda Fiapo, Abalefo, Tualanda Pofimbi, Na Totero Nanopia, bye. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.